Welcome back, everybody. Let's see Graffiti Kingdom. We're on wheels now. And this is a pineapple or something. Some of the creatures in this. By the way, yes, uh, there are various elements of rampages. Oh, who signs dash the X button? really weird. There seems to be no consistency between the controls for the various, um, creatures. Um, that you'll encounter along your journey. Which is very annoying, because you might end up throwing yourself right into an enemy's attack and dying like I did last episode. Pepper Rider. It's like a baby. Or something. It's too small for me to hit with a stick, so I'll just run over it. Yeah, and this particular creature is becoming a lot more useful than I expected it to. By the way, you can be born and go the right way, or you can just do this. Hi. I wish I had an attack that knocked enemies back a lot, so I just like throw them off the cliff. We hear one person used to have a lot, a lot of fun doing was just not knocking this guy down to the end of the uh, hill, and just watch him struggle to climb back up and just knock him back down. It's the simple things that can be oh so entertaining sometimes. Ow, asshole. I'm probably wooden, so I'm probably a flammable, flammable paper airplane. Paper airplane? I'm a wooden paper airplane, airplane and I'm proud of it. Uh -huh. Damn it. Damn it. It's really annoying getting the abilities from some of these creatures. Timing. No. Ah. It'd be nice if I could hit the darn thing. But this wooden toy plane is proving to be much more useful than I expected it to be because I'm actually able to hit enemies with it. Once again, if you have a ranged attack, which you really should, you should really always have an, uh, a creature that has at least one ranged attack. Preferably both burst shots and uh, charge shots. But if you don't have that, having something that can actually queue up with these enemies is a really good idea. Ouch. It does take time to charge up. The thing I like about Rampage so much is it does take time to charge up the attack. But you. But it takes very little time to actually charge up the attack. If you're in a hurry. And it'll still last a short while, and if you charge it up completely, it'll last a really long time. You can hit enemies really easily multiple times with it. And if you don't hit any enemies with it, you can just kind of keep going along and you'll just move over quickly and normal too. Ow. I wish everything was on wheels. Of course, you have explosion. What you can also do is just let these guys uh, run straight into you. Because they are always moving around. Their AI just makes them do that. For some reason, there's a graffiti stop here. I don't know why, to be honest. I kind of want to 
do something at it, but I don't know what that something would even be. So I'm just gonna leave it be. And barbed wire, I guess. I don't know why they included that here. I mean, it's not like you ever get passage through here. It's not like you can fly through there either. Uh, bunk. Okay, so this is basically pinball, and the pinballs like to follow you. I don't know why, but they like to follow you. So what you have to do is you need to turn it, lead them over into various areas, various holes, and it'll open up the exit. Uh, however, you also find enemies here, because penguins are cool, I guess. That's probably some kind of pun. He's trying to join his friend. And kick me. I don't think penguins are very effective at kicking. No, that's the wrong enemy for jumping. Creature for jumping. Oh, cool. Leg. Huh? <laughs> this is a typo. A really bad typo. Uh, we didn't get leg just now, we got stick leg. Which is just a fancy certain type of leg. Oh no! Oh no! He's been victimized! But, uh, I won't show you what stick leg is, but I'll just prove to you that stick leg exists. I guess I can show you what stick leg is. Nah, but I don't want to have to reset all of his moves. Ugh. Okay, so let's replace you with... Some kind of other graffiti creature. Let's say something that has legs that are supposed to move. Those things don't have legs. Not many things have legs here either. Not many things have legs in this game in general. At least not proper ones. Let's go for Pico from Canvas Plains. Do I not have Pico? I did. There we go. Okay, so let's set these legs to what will you stick leg, which is what I unlocked, not leg, I unlocked stick leg. What will you I unlocked head too, I didn't notice that. that looks done. Heads will just be animated like heads, that's basically it. Did I notice they have head? I don't know if I have this guy's head set to head or not. Yeah, I do. Well, actually, the developers might have set up to head. I don't know. And that the head will look at enemies. That's basically all it does. But now, if this guy moves, the knees won't bend. Or, or, they won't bend as much. That's pretty much all there is to it. So I want to make some big stick figure and name it Bobbo. I could now make that stick figure not move his joints. He could be all stick-like. That's really all it is. I don't really care much for the stick legs or stick feet myself. I don't find it to be a very useful function. I'm sure somebody will find some use for it though. Anyways, if I, aside from what I should be there, I don't think there's actually there are any Seekers for me to show you in this particular room. Not ah, asshole! Uh, I think that the boss card appears over here, like on this platform later on. After you complete the level, I'm not too sure. Anyways, you can go through any one of these exits, they all lead to the same place. Not to the same door in the same place, you'll start off in a different area. Ultimately, pretty much the same thing. Which 
Oh, robot. Hey, no, don't go backwards. Oh, you asshole. More rampage. These guys are ice, I guess. I guess the joke is that they're like making you freeze. And like making you stop, as in stop, wait their sign, I guess, or something like that. Or like pulling you over. I'm really not sure. Oh man, I should have made that. I should have made like a police guard that can like freeze things, like, like pulling them over or something. It's a dumb joke, slash amusement thing, but you know what? That's what big ones are about. This freaking plane. plane. This freaking plane can't actually fly proper at the moment, so. Oh, so you might be wondering what that wall right there is. I will show you in a moment. I want to show you the little guard systems first, though. Because I think you only find these things. They have beams! I think you only find these up on the ground. I really do need to keep giving myself experience. I don't think I'm ever actually going to grind during this playthrough, but I, I still do want to reach level 50 by the end of the game. So I'm not sure. I don't know what level I was at at this point last time I was... Last time I played the game, but I'm sure I was a higher level than this. I'm absolutely sure I was at a higher level than this. But see, what it is, is you're supposed to come up here at a fast enough pace. Otherwise, this door will close. But, uh, seriously. <laughs> You can just jump right over, and you should jump over. You should have the ability to jump over. You should, at this point in the game, have actually given yourself some kind of creature capable of doing that. Or you can just jump around it. You should have some kind of creature capable of jumping high enough. Oh, you jerk. Some kind of creature capable of jumping high enough. Or... Where'd you go? Either jumping high enough, or... Just jumping around it, I guess? Oh, I'm stuck. There you go. Ow, I guess. And it's just a straight line. You'd think they could at least aim it at me. Yeah, see, if you take on the later paths, you can actually just kind of jump straight to the end of this room, but I wanted to show everything, give you the full experience and whatnot. Oh, did he just jump right off? No, he didn't. Don't run off! Damn it! I can't experience from anything. Oh no, I was wrong about the location of the boss card. The boss card is actually found... You can get squished by that, by the way. Do not stand under that bowling pin. Uh, the boss card appears right here on top of the bowling pin. That's just gonna be. Hi. I should give something a, some kind of ball attack. It'll seem kind of effective. Maybe. That doesn't do crap for damage. Maybe if I charge it up a lot. At least you can move while you're doing it too. That helps a little bit, I guess. No, it really doesn't. Alright, do your stuff. Airplane. Damn it. It's not stuff. I do like the music here a lot, though, I'll say that much. This is probably the catchiest song from this game's soundtrack. At least to me. Oh, let me have health. Man, is this plane just really sturdy or something? I don't know why. I think I should be falling over more than I am. 
Anyways, there isn't really anything to do before going on to the next fight. I do want some kind of ranged attack, though. Oh yeah, I did say, actually, in the comments of an earlier episode that I would give my frog the ability to shoot stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a charge bit. Now... You're a wizard, Froggy. Alright. Meh, sneezed. Alright, so I'm trying to remember what all the attacks were. This was like a side swing. Side swing. This was Lance. I was kind of using all the attacks I had, to be honest, but whatever. What? Damn it! I kind of want to, at some point or another, show on screen me just making a creature. But I don't know if I would really want to. It wouldn't be interesting to watch, I'm sure, so. I at least won't make an episode of this, so I'm not sure how it would work out. I don't get the whole aerial swing thing. I think it just knocks back enemies. Yeah, I think it seems to have a green tint to it. Green tint and things just knock back enemies a lot. Anyhow. So I'm guessing... I think I'll keep the thrust attack for my... Um, I feel under lightning lance just because it moves more quickly. That's uh, the kind of thing I like to have in a lance attack. And then lastly... Oh, that looks awesome! I don't have fire? I don't have fire burst. Fine. Wait, the frog isn't the most quick-moving character anyways. No. Oh, what are you? No, that's not right. Casual. No. Lighty is really the only one that doesn't have it. his arms clipping through his torso like crazy. Looks pretty good, actually. Well, his arm screws up. That running animation looks beautiful. If I can actually get that running animation to look that nice for my other creatures that use the swinging animation set. Anyways, that's our new froggy. He can shoot crap. It's not very fast at shooting stuff. I can't, like, mash it or anything like I can with most creatures, which is kind of weird. Is this because it's from his weapon or something? I'm really not sure. Whatever, I guess. So at the expense of um, an easy to hit with weapon attack, I now have a charge attack. Hooray. I might switch it out later. Whoa, I'm already here? Well, that's good, isn't it? I mean, we are running out of time. Hello, Mr. Pixel. I have been waiting for you. Whoa, there's the boss. Oh, boss simply sounds too aggressive. My name is Acrilla. At your service. Originally Arch. Don't think this means I'll be nice to you. Such cold words you speak. Why ever not? Why? Well... Uh, um, why was it? What do you mean, why was it? If we defeat the devil, we can save all the townspeople, remember? That's right. What did you do with mother and father and all the people? Unfortunately, nothing can make me answer that. 
Nothing? Well, oh, bother. I guess there might be something. Why don't you just say it? If you surrender, I can take you to where all the townspeople are being kept. Oh, that's it? That's easy. Yes, it certainly is. Wait a second. There's no way I'm doing that. Yeah. I might have figured. Phew. That was close. Frankly, I'm surprised you even thought about it. Well, if you're not gonna tell me, I'll have to beat you up. Mr. Pixel, how uncivilized of you to threaten me with force. Well, if you put it that way... Uh... Passed out, wait. I wasn't fooled by that, trust me. <laughs> what an adorable little prince. However, you need not worry about fighting me, Mr. Pixel. Watch out! Pastel! <laughs> oh. Acrylo, how could you do this? Oh, well, um. <sighs> it seems to me that it was your fault for letting her get in front of you. What's this? What did you do to her? I took away her power to change into a graffiti creature. Only for a while. Oh, what a waste. I can only fire these once in a while. Uh but Pastel... Well, this should still be quite entertaining to watch. Pastel! That's different. Ugh. Please, don't shout. My head. What do you mean, please don't shout? Huh? What are you talking about? Anyways, you have a demon to defeat. Now, come on. Go get her, Pixel. That was such a cop-out. <laughs> Mr. Pixel, I believe I sympathize with you on this one. So, from what I hear, Aquila's original name was Arch. I like how Talpin's original name is Turpentine. And for, uh, Nissa's original name is Varnish. Okay. Ow. So naturally, as you might expect from the level leading up to this, you want to be pretty mobile in this fight. Nope, nope, not that. And as a result... Did that do any damage? There we go. Uh, range attacks seem to do a lot of good. Last time I fought her, I pretty much just used, ex used explosion, so I'm not really sure what strategy I should be using. I used explosion and uh, really powerful charge attacks. That were legitimately obtained, by the way. <laughs> I didn't really use... I used cheap hit and run tactics and whatnot. Like I did on every other boss. It doesn't look like bosses can actually be knocked over. But no, no bosses can be frozen, I know that much. So yeah, bosses can be knocked over. Yeah, so Acrylo saw these annoying little flowers. Shit, that hurt. Ah, I'm running out of energy. Very easily. Let's help I shoot so slowly. So you can actually try to pull off is it's pretty hard because these flowers actually take a while to kill, but you can actually uh, try to go level up off killing the flowers to uh, heal yourself at some point or another. Whoa! Good. Her attacks just cover so much ground. No! Damn it! She holds that attack longer than I uh, would like her to. Yeah. This guy getting kind of old, dying on every boss, but the thing is, I'm really not at the level I should be for any of this. I'm kind of skipping past a lot more enemies than I think I should be.
I'm just not getting that much experience overall. That combined with a lack of experience for actually fighting the bosses legitimately doesn't work out. Okay, so let's replace you with something that does range attacks more effectively. And let's also make you less overpowered. What? Damn it. No, I don't mean to give you that. Oh. Huh? Oh. No. Well, rep attack or shoot? Not sure, to be honest. Not being immobilized would be kind of nice. There. Alright. By the way, no, you can't fall off the side there, I don't think. Maybe, I'm not too sure. This is really dull music, by the way. Yeah, I guess you just don't want to attach a uh, charge weapon to a weapon if you're going to want to use uh, quick shots. Because you're going to end up firing your attacks off really slowly. Yeah, see, this is working out a lot better. <laughs> and now Tablet's kicking your ass, it's actually kind of funny. I guess bosses just take a lot more hits to uh, knock over the normal enemies. Whoa, that is some serious slowdown. I don't know why either. Oh, because enemies spawned. The main thing that seems to slow down this game is spawning enemies. I'm not sure why. I think it might be that the game actually loads the models for the enemies uh, as they're spawned. Which would lead to the lag. Things are only basically only in memory in this game they are actually being used. It should be why sometimes there's a lot of lag when you try when you uh, switch graffiti forms like that. Sometimes it'll last, last a really long time. She jumps up really high for seemingly no reason. You can basically pretty much guess that she's just going to stomp you. Well, that was kind of dissatisfyingly cheap, just using those quick attacks on her. Like energy, please. Jumping, of course, doesn't help my whole energy thing, which is obviously kind of necessary to try to dodge stuff. I guess you did. Nab. That was boring. Oh dear. Well, it looks like I lost this round. You are a strong fighter, Mr. Pixel. I hope we can meet again some other time. See ya, Arch. Hello. Just how much longer do you plan on staring like an idiot? Uh, 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 oh, that was nothing. Never mind. What am I going to do with you? Uh, just a while ago, I think you turned into a girl or something. That's because I am a girl. Did you think I was a boy? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? You want me to turn back into a girl and climb onto your back? Uh, well, I'm too shy for that. Well, linked it and Wind Waker. I thought so. Now that we got that cleared up, let's keep moving. Isn't there something you want to tell me? No, there isn't. Come on, go. Did you think I was a boy? Pastel, out of the many characters in this game that can be very difficult to tell the sex of, you're not one of them. 
And then I got a free platinum right there too. Oh nice. Condotista. You have a job to do. I guess I don't think all the orbs or all the experience coins disappeared after the desk alpha. I think they just weren't there. I don't know why though. Cause they were there the first time I fought them. Whatever, I guess. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Graffiti Kingdom. The next episode, we'll, uh, do more stuff, I guess. I don't remember what the next area is, either. I think it's the Beast of the Lost Sea. I think so. Well, we'll find out next time. Bye, guys!